Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to deal with this user account control dialog that says this app has been blocked for your protection. Now your file name of course may vary, in this case this is a Texas Instruments uh, driver that I want to install, but uh, in, in any case it is the user account control blocking you from being able to perform the action that you wish to or need to perform. So let's go ahead and solve it. We're going to click close on the dialog to get rid of it. And let's go to the start button and click on start and type in regedit. Okay, you don't need, there's nowhere to type it, just start typing once you click on start button and you'll see this registry editor option come up. Right click on that and choose run as administrator and allow it to make changes to your device by clicking yes. So once you're in here, you may want to maximize it as it is here, and uh, you're going to go to the uh, H key, local machine key, and make sure it's expanded. Your little arrows to the left, you can expand or contract a section, right? So once the local machine bit is expanded, we're going to expand several other sections, starting with software. Okay, and after software, we're going to go down to Microsoft, and then you'll have to scroll down a bit find Windows. There it is. Expand Windows. And then current version. And then you're going to look for policies and system. Now when you get to system, just simply click on system because you want to see the items uh, beneath it. Right? Now the item you're looking for is this one. Enable LUA and it will be currently set to one. And this is your uh, user account control bit. So let's double click on that and we're gonna change the value data from one to zero and click okay. Now, if you have the same uh, build of windows that I have or, or higher, I suppose, uh, you may get this message in the bottom right hand corner that says you must restart your computer to turn off user account control click to restart this computer. Of course, you can just click there to restart your computer, but if the message disappears before you get a chance or if the message doesn't show up, um, just restart your computer as normal. Um, if you're not sure how to restart, just turn it off, count to 10 and turn it back on. All right, now once you've done that, you will be able to uh, run the file that you were attempting to run. Now for security purposes, uh, just for safety net kind of thing, after you've done what you wanted to do and you've run that file, unless you're constantly doing these kinds of things, I do suggest that you go back in and switch this from zero back to one. And that way, you know, you've enabled yourself to install your driver, whatever it is, but uh, by turning it back on, you re-enable the protection that uh, can help prevent viruses and other things from just sneaking into your system. All right, well, hopefully this has helped you solve your issue. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.